Welcome to stage 13 of the 2016 Tour de France. The Tour de France was in mourning today as a mark of respect for the victims of the tragedy in Nice. The Tour de France organizers have decided to turn off the volume of the race in agreement with the state and local authorities. The start area and the finish line operations as well as the publicity car caravan were all run in complete silence. And a tribute was paid at the post-race uh, award ceremony with a minute of silence. Lantern Rouge, Sam Bennett of Bora Oregon 18, was the first on the road, knowing that he would at least move up two general classification spots, as both Thibaut Pinot with bronchitis had announced his withdrawal, after Simon Gerrans, who had completed the stage up to Mont Ventoux with a broken collarbone, announced overnight that he would not be resuming today. So Sam Bennett set the early mark of the day being the first rider across the finish line. However, Alexis Gugard of AG2R La Mondiale set the best time, but he was quickly beaten by Bodner of uh, Tinkoff. Bodner had an average speed of 42.62 km an hour. Then Rowan Dennis, the former World Hour record holder, came through with an average speed of 43.32 to take hold of the, the hot seat. The longest standing provisional leader was Nelson Oliveira of Movistar, who rode at 43.46 km an hour. That was until uh, Tom Dumoulin uh, succeeded to beat the Portuguese champion on the hot seat when he reached an average speed of 44.7 km an hour over the 37.5 km course. Then a new race started to know whether or not any one of the GC contenders would be able to deny Dumoulin's victory and also at the same time what would be the amount of time gained and lost between the GC contenders. At the top of the uh, Côte de Beau saint andiol which is at kilometre 7, Froome was 7th fastest with a deficit of only 17 seconds, but that gap kept growing until it was 48 seconds at 28 kilometres and 1 minute 3 seconds on the finish line, where Froome picked up 2nd place for the day and betted all his main rivals in the GC competition. However, the uh, the ma big another big winner of the day was Barker Mollema. The and you'll recall that Mollema was the one that crashed with Froome and Port on the Vent Two during the course of Stage Twelve. Froome now has a lead of one minute forty seven over Barker Mollema, who has now moved up to second place, two forty five over Yates, and three fifty nine over Naira Quintana. Um, the next rider down is Alejandro Valverde, who is down at 3 minutes 17. So to summarize, uh, the successes weren't celebrated directly at the end of stage 13 as a tribute was paid to the victims of the tragedy in Nice. Tom de Moulin added a second stage win to his record after he claimed the Korean stage in uh, Andorra Arcalis, if, as if you can recall. Then he outclassed the time trial specialists of Tony Martin, Fabian Cancellara, Ron Dennis on difficult terrain where winds, especially crosswinds, played a major, major role. While Chris Froome, who was second on the stage, increased his lead in the overall ranking. That brings me to the end of my report back on stage 13 of the 2016 Tour de France. Be sure to click like, share or subscribe. Post any comments, questions or criticisms in the comment section down below. And last but by no means least, remember, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.